What is happening? Welcome back to Run Through TV. My name is Ben Shepherd. Over the past few months, there have been some pretty incredible challenges completed by some equally as incredible people, and this guy is one of them. I'm Fergus Crawley. I'm based in Scotland, but I'm kind of dotted all over the UK at different times, depending on what I'm doing. I've primarily focused all my athletic endeavors on raising money for Movember in the past few years, and I've raised over 50,000 pounds for them with a series of challenges over the past couple of years. But whilst I had a powerlifting competition and the Keltman Extreme Triathlon canceled on me due to COVID, I thought I'd try and translate those sort of periods of athletic training into trying to squat 500 pounds, run a sub five minute mile in the same day, and be the first person to do it. However, somebody did it two weeks before I did. So I thought I'd add a marathon onto the end as well, given my insurance background. Because once the, once the blueprint's been ticked off, it's up to me to reinvent it, I guess. Yeah, you did hear that right. A 501 pound back squat, a five minute mile, and then just for good measure, Fergus decided to just, you know, casually lob in a marathon as well. But where did this idea even come from? So obviously the goal to start with was to be the first, because for those that might not know, this as a feat, the 500 pound back squat and the sub five minute mile has been spoken about in the CrossFit level one course since it was created in sort of the early 2000s. And it's never been done. And lots of people have tried and failed, CrossFit Games athletes, hybrid athletes, etc. And then I was tagged at a post that basically made me think, yeah, okay, this is the time. You're never going to be in a better situation for this. And then somebody else sort of joined the race at the same time. And then a few others at his gym that were CrossFit Games athletes decided to join in. And I was like, all, all of a sudden, I was like, oh my God, this is, this is like a race. And um, there were a few mind games going on. And then Adam Clink from Virginia did it. And he did it earlier than I was sort of forecasting him to do so. So I was a bit gutted in that I'd missed the opportunity that I'd set myself to achieve. But at the end of the day, that's the nature of sport. And I've been out of sport for so long that it was kind of a bit of a refreshing, you've been knocked back, figure something out. So I thought, I'll add a marathon if I can. But if not, I'm not going to let him doing this first be the thing that prevents me from doing it. So now we know all about the challenge. How did the day itself go? So I set a date. And I was really nervous going into the squat because my squat has always been hidden until the actual day that I do it because of the fatigue in my lower back. So I genuinely did not believe I had the squat in me beforehand. And the only reason I'd committed is because I'd gone so far and people were telling me I had the squat in me. So I didn't say on social media, I'm going for it today. I'm going for it this, this time because I wanted to get the squat out of the way because I didn't want to be that guy that tried and failed at stage one. Um, so got the squat out of the way, probably had another 15 kilos in me, to be honest, which is the funny thing. But um, once I got out of the way, I was fully confident I had it in me. And I was, I mean, you can see from the video, I was buzzing. Like the squat was such a big rush of adrenaline, which is probably not the best thing in the world that I needed at the time. And then the mile was only two hours later. I did feel a bit nervous going into it just because all of a sudden, well, I knew that I didn't need to go any further than this point if I got it done. The marathon was completely on me. Um, and the pacing was a challenge because there was a bit of a headwind on one side of the thing. And my mate that did it is a rugby player, not a runner. So I said, Doug, you can run a sub five comfortably somehow, which is ridiculous. Um, can you learn to try and pace me in the next couple of weeks? And he's like, okay, I'll try, I'll try. Get used to a 114 pace. And he did on the road, never ran a track before. So he got a bit excited. He tried to compensate for the headwind a little bit, which meant that he went out way too fast. And then getting over the line, I tripped which isn't great, a um, bit of a downer on that one. And then I was on the floor for about 25 minutes, just completely like a limp fish, like completely emptied the tank. And once I'd sort of thrown up, which isn't the most pleasant thing in the world to happen, it had dawned on me that actually that was it. I'd, I'd done, I'd done this sort of like elusive feat that's sort of evaded a lot of people for a long time. But in my head, because I'd always been preparing for the marathon as well, once I got this done, at that point, I was actually just overwhelmed with sort of pride more than anything else because I was so unconvinced I actually had it in me going into it. But it, it just goes to show that if you stick to the plan, if you've got a good support network around you and you, you do what needs to be done, get your head down, chew the stem and the training sessions that hurt, there will be rewards at the end of it. And it's, it's on you to, to make that happen. Mm. Um, took me a few hours and then I decided, yeah, I'm going to go for the marathon. And... Halfway through when I started to cramp, I thought, oh, you shouldn't have done this. You could have just stayed at home and enjoyed the afternoon. 
no one needed to know because I knew that the five the sub 550k was off the cards just because I was physiologically tanked. But then again, I was so proud of the previous achievements that I thought that anything else I do now is a bonus and it's actually one further than anyone's ever gone before. This is one of those challenges that when you think about it, it genuinely does blow your mind. But with Fergus pushing the boundaries now, where does he think athletes are gonna take this next? I'd like to think off the back of this, people can explore different energy systems more than they did before in the knowledge that you can develop them. It just takes a long time. I mean, th this, this didn't happen overnight for me. Yes, it was 10, 10 weeks of specific training. I've been able to squat over 500 pounds since I was at 19, 20 years old. And it's come up and down. My running's been better, my running's been worse, my strength's been higher, my strength's been lower. But at the end of the day, it's accumulation of a lot of training and specific disciplines over a long period of time. But there's no reason why somebody who's wants to stay in good shape, wants to do a triathlon, but also wants to be quite strong at the same time, can't do those three things unless they want to be elite and competitive. But if they want to do those three things to explore those energy systems and actually complement one another, then there's no reason why they can't with a bit more specific programming, a bit more trial and error and working in the knowledge that the training variety is going to give you more to go at and it will ultimately lead to you being a better all-rounded athlete. Massive thank you to Fergus and a big thank you to you, of course, for clicking on this video. Please, if you have enjoyed it, do click the like button, subscribe to Run Through TV as well, and I will catch you again very, very soon.